Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Smart Ace Formula series, where we take problems from our popular dark side videos and solve them using the formula. The Smart Ace Formula helps you accelerate your business outcomes by clarifying your goals and empowering your entire organization to succeed in today's complex world. We'll provide common sense solutions to complex problems, and we can't wait to show you how the formula works. In this video, we'll explore planning with the Smart Ace formula. The reality is we plan a lot in our jobs and in our lives, and we adapt as we go. Even the Agile Manifesto emphasizes responding to change over following the plan, because we know that the best laid plans change. So let's take a look at how we can accelerate your business outcomes. You can go faster using two simple techniques, prioritize and hyper-focus. Prioritize your goals to determine your number one priority, then work in priority order. We all know that if everything is a priority, nothing is a priority. Let's take a look at an example. Here we've got four different initiatives that are important for our customers that we want to get in their hands so that they can realize some value from these items. We've prioritized them and said that from A to D, these are the priority order that we want to get these things done in. Traditional strategy, though, says everything's important. Do it all at once. So the team tackles that. They try to get everything done at once. They're taking project A. They're working on that. Then they're switching gears, having to contact switch to work on project B and C, and they're trying to get those things. They don't even have room in there for tackling initiative D. And we can see that around the end of May, they finally finish initiative A and get that in the hands of their customer, followed soon by B and C. So that by early mid-July, they've got all three of those done and they're ready to think about what to do with D. However, using the Smart Ace formula, where we prioritize and hyper-focus, we see that uh, the team focuses on initiative A and is able to deliver that and get that in the hands of the customer before February even hits the calendar. Then we can see that B is done by the end of February and C comes in early April. They can do D and what is next? They can explore other options and consider other possibilities for getting value to their customers. And I know that some of you out there are probably looking at these and wondering, well, why do you have different size boxes between the traditional strategy and the Smart Ace strategy? And that really is about that context switch for traditional strategy. If you're constantly having to think about, well, I was working on A, but now I'm working on B, you lose time. Studies out there have proven this time and time again, that you're spending a good deal of your time on that context switch, and you can't hyper-focus when you're wasting a bunch of time on that. So we've increased the size of those boxes to accommodate for that context switch in the traditional strategy. By staying hyper-focused, you can really drive through and get those things done and get that value into the hands of your customer and gain important feedback from them as well. Now let's talk about another important concept with hyperfocus. It's our now, next, later roadmap adoption. In the now section of the roadmap, you'll see that you have a very clear picture of what you're working on. And that stuff is what you're going to be delivering in the next four weeks-ish. So you, every item in there is pretty clear, crystal clear. Everybody knows what they're working on. There may be some details still to figure out, but for the most part, we're pretty sure we're gonna deliver it in four weeks. We know that we're gonna be talking to our customers. Maybe that project A is before. The stuff that's sitting in our next part of our roadmap, those we don't have quite as clear of a picture. We've got a good maybe draft going. We've talked to customers. We've prioritized a little. We're kind of figuring out what's the most bang for our buck still at this point. So those things are about what's coming up in the next two months. So basically your now and next covers a quarter. Looking at later, you're looking at things that are in the draft status. They've barely gotten an outline written in on them. We're still not sure if they're going to be important to customers. We're not spending as much time on them because if we spend too much time on stuff that's in the later, we're detracting and distracting everybody from what's coming up now and what's going to be next. So 
we want to make sure that we spend our time focusing on that now and that next part of the roadmap and then prioritizing those so we can gain that speed by hyper focusing on what we need to know right now rather than stuff we may need to know later or stuff that could even be deprioritized or dropped off of the roadmap completely. And with that priority known and with our hyper focus going, we want to now shift gears a little bit to talk about how to clarify your goals. Communicating strategy effectively and collaborative planning each provide much needed clarity. So with movies and any other business, you need a strategic plan. Here's an example of what we believe the Waterworld movie turned into their movie project plan. Uh, keep in mind that when we talked about this in our Dark Side video, we talked about the fact that the script wasn't finalized. So there was edit and finalize phase that had to be moved back to the production because that's when they started working on finalizing and editing that script. So that increased our time in our production phase. And a lot of time was added into our post-production phase by having to do that rewrite for the movie. They had to reshoot a bunch. They had an entire soundtrack they threw out and score. They fired the person who was doing it. They hired somebody else. And that took them an extra, looks like about, they went from six months, which is traditional, to about 11 months. So an effectively communicated plan will be shared as a roadmap for the design, development, marketing, sales, and other product-specific efforts. And while the artifacts can be shared through emails and posted in a tool, nothing beats the power of getting everybody together involved in the conversation, whether it's in a room, virtual, or in person, to collaborate on the plan. And please keep in mind when sharing that plan that it cannot become static. You have to bring everyone back together at regular intervals to review what's been accomplished so far. And at that point, you can consider new potential solutions to your customers' problems. You should expect to revise your plans collaboratively as you go along. Finally, and most importantly, you must communicate that new plan to everyone involved. And remember, strategic goals should have clear success measures. And these clear success measures help everyone to know how you're progressing towards your goals and when the next goal will be achieved. The goals can also be used as guardrails to keep you informed when you're nearing, say, maybe 150 days late on delivering your movie and $135 million over budget. <laughs> yeah. For collaboration and communication to be more effective, we also have to empower our people. Giving people the ability to be involved in self-direct work at all levels leads to those feelings of empowerment. Here's the standard Agile concept, the Agile planning onion. Now imagine how much better your teams would be at crafting solutions if they were involved in the draft and adaptations of the product vision. Imagine also if your teams were involved in the creation of roadmaps instead of just being informed where they sit on your team's SharePoint or whatever. By involving teams early and often in that planning process, each person is gonna to learn to empathize with the customer and they're gonna develop accountability and ownership over delivering innovative solutions to the customer along the way. And bonus, they'll also feel appreciated for their contributions. Now, switching gears just a little bit, do you know what happens when you publish plans without any collaboration? Any at all. Let's check out a few major failures. Uh, Wait. Oops, did somebody fail? To do? I thought you were doing this one. Do we, oh, no. oh, maybe we should have actually talked about who was putting in this slide. <laughs> you mean like a plan? Yeah. Okay. Well, here's the plan. We're going to go on to the next slide to talk about some cake fails. Um, we love using this as a type of example because these are just so funny. If you search on cake fails, there's hundreds of thousands of them out there, um, you know, where somebody's called in, they've left their message of what they want on that cake, and they said, just right, happy birthday. And so someone took them literally and put down just right, happy birthday. <laughs> right, or in the name game, right? There are tons of different ways to spell names these days. So you might call in and say, happy birthday, and it's Ashley, and you spell her name with two E's, but instead what goes on the cake is happy birthday, Ashley, spelled with two E's, because literally <laughs> that's what you called in and said. <laughs> Thanks for a great year in purple. Great, okay, we wrote that down. <laughs> And on that one, they at least got the whole thing in purple color. So they did pay attention a little bit. 
maybe not the whole concept that was expected, but that's what happens when you have people just calling in, talking to a person, handing it over the wall, written instructions, and then not having that collaboration piece, not talking to somebody and saying, hey, is this what you were thinking when you wrote this down? Yeah, you've got to have that communication uh, so that people understand what you're trying to achieve. Another way that teams can gain control over their own destiny is by empowering them to determine how to handle unplanned work. <laughs> we all recognize that unplanned work is a regular occurrence, just like a flat tire is unplanned. And you can't just turn it around because it's flat at the bottom when you hit that unplanned work. You have to deal with it. So it's time to be truthful about this pesky reality. The approach of just get it done and squeeze it in with your time commitments, that's incredibly demotivating to your team. Hearing statements like this too often, it's going to lead to morale issues and have people feeling like lack of ownership, lack of accountability, because how can you solve it when you're just piling it on? It's going to lead to quiet quitting. And unplanned work happens. We know it always happens. The best way to empower your team is to honor the agile value of adapting to change or following a plan. Let your team decide how to handle the unplanned work because they will have been involved in the entire process. They'll know what a priority is. They'll know which items tie directly into strategy and what could potentially suffer by adjusting those roadmaps. If it happens often, start to measure it. And then you can plan for some of that unplanned work. You may not know exactly what it is, but you'll begin to develop a sense of how much you're facing on a regular basis. Most importantly, the knowledge that you're gaining is power, and that's empowering. The Smart Ace Formula approach to planning emphasizes that you have a plan which is flexible enough to handle change. By focusing on A, C, E, the Smart Ace Formula helps you to accelerate your business outcomes by clarifying your goals and empowering you and your entire organization to succeed in today's complex world. In today's episode, discussing planning, to accelerate, you need to prioritize and provide that hyper-focus. To clarify your goals, communicating strategy effectively, and collaborative planning are a must. Empowerment comes from being involved in all stages of planning and being able to make necessary adjustments to the plan. Thank you for joining us today. To hear more about how the Smart Ace Formula can help you or your organization, visit us at smartaceformula.com or email us at smartaceformula at gmail.com.